Steve Livingstone. My piece is called Pieces of Sky. It basically will involve members of the local community putting out humane moth traps to try and trap as many different moth species flying above Worksworth as possible. From the identification of those species, then I'll be doing a large drawing based on what's found. The piece itself is, is going to be drawn using coal and galena, and galena is a lead ore. I'm trying, in a sense, to paint a picture of Worksworth but from the point of view of the part of the environment that you don't normally see. My name's Dory Scott and for the festival my piece is Thin Walls. Well, I first came up with the idea and I was coming back from a holiday actually and driving through Buxton, there was so many caravan parks and holiday parks. I was just thinking, who are these people living in these caravans? Like each one has an individual character and where have they come from, why are they there and where are they going? It's like a miniature house, a mobile house. That character can put themselves into that space and take it with them. So I just thought that'd be a really interesting platform, I guess, for a performance. Although I came up with the idea of the caravan park, I then wanted to give them a story and give them an actual reason for being there. So that's when I approached Eve Hedwig-Turner and asked her to write the script. I'd like the piece to be a complete experience for the audience and become fully sort of engaged within the story. Smith. Um, I'm making three new Frillip Moolog beings for the festival. I really, really enjoy letting my mind free wheel. I get influences from absolutely everywhere. Old industrial machinery, right through to Barbie dolls. The three beings for works were they're all built from steel uh, frames, a sort of skeleton frame that I've made, and then uh, upholstered on top. I would like people when they come into the church to think that's what, not what I'd expect or that wasn't here last time I came or I wonder why that's here. It just will hopefully um, really enhance their experience of the church. Natasha Astara and um, I'm creating a piece for St Mary's Church called The Feminine Voice based on something that's of great interest to me which is uh, femininity. The sound pieces kind of came out of the fact that we had a studio, I wanted to play around with it. I look into the science behind whatever I'm looking at. I usually use a note or a few notes just to create the pattern of the a molecular structure of the scientific thing I'm looking at. So I'm hoping that um, this artwork will create an artistic experience so they will feel it in their body as well as hearing it. My name's Neil Dixon, I make architectural sculptures. It seems to all come from different places. Going out and experiencing the city and the town, the architecture around. I do sketches of the buildings to understand the design. I always go back to using wood for some reason. I experiment with some of the materials and then experiments seem to resolve in wood. There's an idea, quite a clear idea, an image, I guess, of what it could be, but it won't necessarily be like that, and that would probably be more interesting. Mm -hmm. 